So in this problem, we're told to find the general indefinite integral you see for the constant of integration, and we're given the integral 9 times theta minus 8 times the cosecant of theta times the cotangent of theta d theta. Let's just start by rewriting our integral. So 9 theta, 9 times theta minus 8 times the cosecant of theta times the cotangent of theta times d theta. So let's just so basically to solve this, we need to find the antiderivative of the function right here on the inside. So let's find the antiderivative of 9 theta. So what we do is, well, this is basically 9 theta to the 1. So we add 1 to our exponent. So 1 plus 1 is 2. And we divide by our new exponent, so 2. And then we got to multiply by 9. So 9 times this is going to be 9 over 2 times theta squared. And then now let's find the antiderivative of this. So we have minus 8 times the cosecant of theta times the cotangent of theta. So what I'm going to do is basically just imagine it's like this. So minus 8 parentheses cosecant of theta times the cotangent of theta. And so what's going to be the antiderivative of this? Well, let's think about this for a second. So we know the derivative of cosecant of theta is going to be equal to minus cosecant of theta times the cotangent of theta. And by here we have positive cosecant of theta times cotangent of theta. So if we want to change this, we can make this a plus, right, and multiply both sides by minus 1. So that means if the derivative of minus cosecant of theta is positive cosecant of theta times cotangent of theta, the antiderivative of this right here is just going to be this, minus cosecant of theta. So basically it's going to be minus 8 times minus cosecant of theta, which is just going to become 8 times the cosecant of theta. So that's going to be the antiderivative of this. So you just got to add it on. So plus 8 times the cosecant of theta. And then what we got to do is since we're taking the antiderivative, we got to add our constant. And so we're supposed to use c. So we got c at the end. So our final answer here is going to be 9 over 2 times uh, theta squared plus 8 times the cosecant of theta plus c.